Hello, Unbreak Me here, and today I present you with a walking humanoid robot, Betarex. This Betarex robot was actually made using simply the uh, pieces that come with the LEGO Mindstorms 51515 robot inventor, uh, nothing more, so as long as you have the kit and my instructions, you should be able to replicate this robot for yourself. And my main goal with this uh, Betarex was to sort of uh, create a successor to the LEGO Mindstorms NXE 2.0 Alpharex, which in my opinion was just an incredible robot, and as you can see, like, especially with the shaping of the head here, I I really sort of captured that feeling of the uh, NXT 2.0 Alpha Rex robot, but you know, I did sort of make the shaping of the head uh, kind of my own. However, you know, I did use the inspiration from the NXT Alpha Rex robot, uh, but I am proud of the head simply because, you know, even though it does look like a successor, it's also unique in its own way. So let me show you how you can actually sort of control this robot. I have provided both the remote control program and a main program for this robot. With the main program uh, of this robot, you can basically control him using this control stick, which comes with four colors. And essentially, you need to use the color sensor as your input for the robot. First of all, we need to turn on the robot. And as you can see, when he's just powering on, he's calibrating everything. He makes sure everything is in absolute position zero. He also makes sure that the grabber hand is uh, properly calibrated and all that good stuff. But, you know, when his calibration sequence is done, uh, he is going to sort of uh, play this animation and have this uh, center light button to green, which means that he is in the idle mode. And essentially, right now, we're just going to use this color sensor. And let's see what happens if we put a yellow color. So after we put a yellow color, his grabber hand essentially just grabs any small object. Uh, it doesn't have to be necessarily super light, it can be heavy because this motor is running without any stall detection, it's just going 100% power and grabbing it and uh, make, make sure that it holds the object. But when you put the yellow color again, it's gonna release that object. I think that, you know, yellow grab, yellow again, it releases. It's a really great function, you're gonna have a lot of fun playing with it. But the next function is probably the most interesting out of all of them. So if we just put this green color uh, on the color sensor, uh, his eyes are gonna light up and essentially an obstacle avoidance program starts to work while he's walking forward. So essentially he's gonna walk forwards and uh, when he sees an object that's uh, pretty close to the ultrasonic sensor, he's gonna randomly turn by 90 degrees either left or right and I think that is just incredible um, he avoids obstacles really well he's a really great robot and he walks very nicely um, as you can see he's also walking with small objects so he can walk and transport small objects I do really appreciate that but anytime you just want to exit the sequence of uh, obstacle avoidance and walking just use this red color and put, place it uh, on the color sensor and he's just gonna stop essentially uh, brings back the robot to the idle position and the fourth color on this sort of control stick is blue but you may be wondering what does blue actually do well let's find out we place blue and check this out I mean, he dances. Isn't that incredible? Plus, you know, I, I combined some noises from the robot Charlie, and I think this is just incredible. I mean, wow, it does not get any better than this. But uh, check this out. He also has two more additional functions. So essentially, you've got these two buttons here uh, on the hub itself, right? And if you push this right button, he's gonna, he's gonna start doing a full rotation to the right. And you know, as soon as you want to just stop this or and you don't want to see him do the full rotation, just, you know, put the red color up until the color sensor, it's gonna stop the sequence that the robot is in. And if you push his left button, he's gonna start doing a full rotation to the left. Uh, it's not based on the gyroscope actually of the internal hub, however, that is a version of the program I am working on to have it to have it be based on the gyroscope hub. So essentially, um, you know, if you have a carpet, uh, he, uh, he obviously has more grip. So 
he's gonna be turning a little bit more than a full rotation but if you're on like a a slippery floor he is gonna be doing a full rotation so there is a lot of factors uh, with this robot like that but but this is just scratching the surface of what this robot can do check this out we also have a full rc program with this robot so as you can see here on the left is a d-pad and essentially you know you make it go forward by pushing forward backwards by go by pushing backwards uh, you can make it also turn right, you know, just like so, by pushing the right button. And you can also make it turn left, just by pushing the left button. And if you press this button over here, he's gonna uh, close his grabber hand. And if you press that button again, he's going to release his grabber hand. I think this is incredible. Uh, there is also another button here that just makes his eyes light up and also makes his eyes turn off. And I think this is just, you know, a really cool function. It's really fun to play with. You're definitely going to have a lot of fun playing with this. But check this out. This is probably the most amazing function out of this whole robot. He can not only dance using his arms like I showed you, but he can also dance with his whole body. So if you press this button, he's gonna start dancing, just like so. I mean, isn't that incredible? And if you press it again, you know, he's gonna stop, obviously. Now you may be wondering, how can you play with this robot yourself? Well, for one, you need the LEGO Mindstorms 51515 Robot Inventor Kit. Every piece for this robot comes in that kit, so you don't need anything else besides that kit. The building instructions for this robot can be found with a download link in this video's description and the pinned comment, so make sure you check those out. And the programs, uh, both the RC and the main program, can also be found in the video's description, so make sure you get both the program and the building instructions. Let me know what you think of this Betarex robot that I have created. I think it's pretty incredible. It's definitely a, a really cool successor to the NXT 2.0 Alpha Rex robot. I really like it. I'm really proud of it. And if you actually want to see five reasons why the new LEGO Mindstorms 51515 is better than the previous EV3 system, I highly recommend you check out this video over here. I talk about a lot of different good reasons. This is Yarn Brick Me here, and I'll see you in the next one.